Hi Scholars, this is Miss C and it is writing time. If you are excited to do some writing today, go ahead and shout, it's writing time. We will be focusing on interactive writing throughout our lesson. Materials. You will need a paper and pencil for our learning today. We have two new learning targets. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, I can add a prefix and a suffix to a base word to make and decode a new word. The second learning target says, I can write a sentence using words with the consonant LE syllable type at the end and by applying what I know about the patterns TCH, CH, GE, DGE, K, CK, and affixes I've learned. Transition song. Can you build a word from scratch? A word from scratch? A word from scratch? Can you build a word from scratch using many parts? Word work. Today, we will review base words and affixes. Let's read some word parts to see where they go on our chart. Ready? Here is our first word. Quick. Is quick a base word or affix? Quick is a base word. We can add affixes to change its meaning. Here's our next word, est. Is est a base word or affix? Est is a suffix. We can add it to a base word to mean the most. Let's look at another word, kind. Is kind a base word or affix? Kind is a base word. We can add affixes to it to change its meaning. Here is our next word. Use. Is use a base word or affix? Use is a base word. We can also add affixes to this word to change its meaning. Here's our next word. Less. Is less a base word or affix? Less is a base word and suffix, but in this lesson, we are going to talk about it as a suffix that can be added to the end of a base word to mean without. Here's our next word. Un. Is un a base word or affix? Un is a prefix. We can add it to a base word to mean not or the opposite of. Here's our next word, lee. Is lee a base word or affix? Lee is a suffix. We can add it to a base word to mean like. Go ahead and give yourself a celebration for finishing this section. All right, go ahead and get your paper and pencil ready. It is time to write down words that we build. Let's go. The first base word is kind. The suffix is s. If we put the base word kind together with the suffix s, what new word do we make? Kind is. Notice that adding a suffix to this word did not change the spelling of the base word. How does the suffix s change the meaning of the base word kind? Kindness describes someone who is the most kind. 
Go ahead and write down the word kindness on your paper. All right, here's our next word. We have the base word slow together with the suffix li. If we put the base word slow with the suffix li, what new word do we make? Slowly. How does the suffix li change the meaning of the base word slow? Slowly describes someone that acts or moves in a slow way. Go ahead and write down the word slowly on your paper. All right, I have a challenge for us. What if we change the base word to quick? What new word will we make? Quickly, if we change the base word to quick, it would describe something being done fast. Go ahead and write down the word quickly on your paper. Here's our last word. The base word is help. The suffix is full. If I put the base word help together with the suffix full, what new word do I make? Helpful. As you can see, when we add that suffix, helpful means full of help. Go ahead and write down the word helpful on your paper. All right, here's our last challenge. If we add another affix to this word, we can change the meaning again. Let's add the prefix un to helpful. What do you think unhelpful means? The meaning is the opposite now, right? Unhelpful describes someone who does the opposite of help. Go ahead and write down the word unhelpful on your paper. Great work, scholars. Transition song. Do you know the words will write? The words will write? The words will write? Do you know the words will write on our paper today? Writing. Let's use words that we've learned in this module to write a silly sentence. Write a complete sentence using as many words as you can from this list. You can see words that have a consonant LE syllable. Apple, eagle, gentle, ripple. Words with the ch sound at the end spelled CH or TCH. Fetch, march, Bench, stitch, words with the j sound at the end spelled D-G-E or G-E, large, edge, bridge, huge, and words with the k sound at the end spelled K or C-K, quick, chipmunk, sock, silk. Wow, we sure have learned a lot. Write a silly sentence using as many of these words as you like. Don't forget to use a capital letter and ending punctuation. Now choose some words and get writing. Don't forget to use your ending punctuation.
All right, here's the silly sentence that I came up with. The helpful eagle is able to quickly bring the apple to the gentle chipmunk on the bridge. Do you see how I started my sentence with an uppercase T and had a period at the end? Here are some words that I use from the list. Eagle, able, apple, gentle, bridge, quickly, chipmunk. Closing reflection. How will knowing all of these spelling patterns and affixes help you become a better writer? Try writing more sentences with words from our chart to make a silly story. Feel free to share your silly sentence with someone else. I'll see you next time.